I have the Dungeons and Dragons Essential Kit if you guys want to play. Uh, how ah, do you play? Ah, you shut up and listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do what I say. Hey, I'm sorry. Make it's rules. now 8.47. You are, we were waiting until 8.45, so now we can start. <laughs> yeah, now we can start. <sighs> <sighs> Who wants to do the, uh, do the summary this week? I don't, I don't feel like <laughs> it. I literally don't remember. I can oh, read. I can read it off of the off of Discord. Yeah, we, uh, that's basically what you do. <laughs> yeah, your characters are getting sick and tired of this rain. I and Zanth the centaur. Zanth the uh, centaur offered to um, show you the location of the uh, of the cult of Talos ritual site. You think that sounded like a pretty good idea? So you headed that way. He found a burnt tree with a heart in it. It was really weird. And uh, he decided to destroy the heart because it sounded like a good idea. And then the tree attacked you. And then some orcs attacked you. And that's what happened last time. Yeah, a bunch of orcs. But, um... You guys... Xanth was given a warning to you guys saying like he thinks the ritual is about to be completed any moment now. And uh, the, the rain's starting to get heavier and heavier. Well, we better, uh, and, uh, we don't have time for a rest. You know, lightning storm is approaching from the uh, northeast. Like a heavy, heavy lightning storm. You think that's the way we're supposed to go? Uh, Xanth knows the uh, the direction of the ritual site, I think. Let's follow Xanth. Lead the way, Xanth. Lead, and we shall follow. Is it, is it, is it a short rest of a half hour? One hour, One unless hour. you have something like catnap. Uh, yeah. Xanth uh, starts to take a step forward, but he kind of falls to one of his horse knees. Oh no! And there's this big, any... there's this, there's this big blackened, like a uh, blighted area of his of his leg where the vine wrapped around. Oh no! During the battle, I cast cure wounds on Xanth on his blackened leg. I quickly I quickly look over my I quickly look over my own legs because I was trapped for like half the battle. Am you think I... because you were wearing armor, it wasn't touching your skin. See, this is why horses should wear pants. That's now, right. Now, how would they wear them? If a horse did wear pants, how would they wear them? Well, let's ask Zan. <laughs> Zan, if you wore pants, how would you wear them? It's his right. Let him be pantsless, okay? I can see. I've, al I've always pondered this question. <laughs> Spending endless nights with my comrades while the wearing of pants and is a paradox that cannot be answered. <laughs> I think we should all take off our pants to make Xanth feel more comfortable. <laughs> Only if I sprout I, more legs. Um, no, I'm good. I don't think Zizix is wearing pants. <laughs> yeah, he's wearing a line cloth. Oh, is he? If, if he's decent. He hasn't been keeping up with it, though. It's really good. I think the people of, of uh, a Fandolin would have liked, hey, dude, just put on, put on some trousers. <laughs> well, aren't reptiles things all on the inside? Can we? Is this really a discussion we're having right now? <laughs> Google, where are lizards' wieners? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to the Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> we're know. not well, we're not two minutes in. We're already talking about lizard genitalia. Look, um, <laughs> this is gonna happen. <laughs> but okay, so he drops to his knee, and uh, Zizix, you offered to cure him. Mm -hmm. But uh, you don't think it, it's going to help much? This looks oh like no, it. it's uh, it's more like a magical thing. Okay. Magical Curse. thing. It's got ticking clockitis. Because I don't want to slow you down. He just points in direction. I think you can follow the storm. Will you be safe on your own though? If we if we leave you, are you heading back to? Uh, the place that we came from. We're still following you. He goes, I'll gather my strength here. Centaurs have 
an ancient magic within them, but I need time to go. Okay. I go up to him and I offer him one of my darts. This will keep you safe. In case you need to kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll keep my darts. Sean. <laughs> he doesn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> does, uh, does well then I'm like oh I better hold on to my darts I only have eleven of them I should have filled up before coming here. <laughs> does he have a weapon, Sam? Do you have a weapon? Yeah, he has um a spear or something. Okay, good. Okay. He has a pike and a longbow. Wow. Okay. Well, he's more armed than I am. And his and his bows. His bows what? Those is pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, looks like we're on our own, kids. Well, I think we you guys right? are pretty much full of HP because uh, Vertican did that healing spell. Mm -hmm. The uh, anyway healing spell. The power of the sun inside us. It's like I drank an entire bottle of Sunny D. Mm. I miss Sunny D. It wasn't good. I just miss it. <laughs> How did you miss it? You can still get it. Well, I mean, I haven't had it in a while because you know I'm not a child. <laughs> you don't. What is what is consuming it's, Sunny D make you a child? It's for kids, like tricks are. We're all children. I'm playing D and D. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, where you, you're only you're only as old as you think you are. Uh, okay. Okay, Grandpa. Sans, <laughs> which direction should we go to uh, stop the ceremony? He points to the northeast. Oh. Wrong way, D'Artagnan. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you meant your lift. <laughs> yeah. You guys... Is Sally just walking <laughs> through trees? <laughs> <laughs> Just walking under them. Yeah. She could. Really Joseph, see. you think you need to be more prepared. I know that orc rituals can take some time. But you, you would be cutting it very close. The only thing I have, uh, I've, I only have my two wild shapes, and I have used one for this fight. But I think I'll only need one. I, I still have a couple of my um, <sighs> maneuvers or superiority dice left. Yeah. I've got one of I got like one of my smaller my smaller ones, but I mean I could go either way. I get yeah. like all my good stuff back at a short rest, but I, I don't I, I won't waste uh, waste time. Yeah, let me let me meta it this way. I think that the more difficult the fight's going to get because we wasted time is not going to be worth the extra resources we'll have going into it. I agree with the lizard man. Onward. And upward. Glory. <laughs> Let us bring the light of Corellin to these chumps. And Vertigan, how do you how do you stay uh faithful during storms like these? We haven't seen this. We haven't seen the sun in like a day. His light shines from within me. O open your mouth. Uh, oh my god! Holy crap! That does not seem healthy. <laughs> I really hope somebody cast um, light on his uvula as he did that. <laughs> That's how I cast light. <laughs> <laughs> You're just your own hooded lantern. Uh, on this storm weird. clouds, on this storm clouds gather in the sky as you approach a ninety foot hall, tall hill, with trees spreading across its slope. Atop the hill is a large ring of standing stones. Two ghastly figures dance within the hedge, surrounded by a number of smaller, capering creatures. You can barely see that as you as you look on this hill, which, idea. as Go it's ahead. pouring down rain is a virtual mudslide that might take some take some uh, skill to climb up. 
Uh, is it? Are we at the bottom of the hill or at the top? Oh, bottom. Of the hill. Can we tell what the creatures are from this distance? Uh, give me an uh, investigation. Investigation. Ten. They're large humanoids. As long as they're not centaurs. Hmm. Yeah. I think they might be. I think they might be orcs. Big fellow knows. Maybe. <laughs> think big fellow. They're the, the, they're they're half orcs. Like you. And what's the other half? Times before. Uh, but the human. No <laughs> way. <laughs> the other half's orc too. <laughs> My internal database recognizes the shape of the half orc race. Be wary. Well, okay. I'll start, I guess, trying to make my way up. And you said they're... We see them dancing? Yeah, they're dancing as if performing a ritual. Are they good dancers? Are they hearing a song that no one else could hear? Pretty much. It's a Morris dance. I mean, they can dance if they want to. They can leave their friends behind. Is it, is it a sexy dance? No, it's I believe it's a very safe dance. <laughs> <laughs> Are they sexy looking at their hands? <laughs> Are they wearing hats? <laughs> Are they orcs without hats? <laughs> All right. Pretty <laughs> cool. You can I'm see they are indeed wearing hats. Right. Okay. You, you see that they are wearing hats. They're uh, wearing uh, skins of boars. Fuck their heads. <laughs> I relay this to the team that they're wearing the, uh, the remains of uh, boars, which probably aids in their shape changing abilities. Um, I start trying to climb the hill. Give me a. Uh, Acrobatics. Best. Yeah, it's been 19. Able to, uh, we'll climb to about right here. Yeah. We gain the footing. Yeah. It's, it's getting steeper, <laughs> steeper. Let's wait for it to stop raining before we climb the hill, guys. It might be forever. Just, just, D'Artagnan, do you have any rope? Since you're able to make it up there, maybe you can anchor something to help us. I shall Let's... try. I actually, so, did you see to your to your right? You see, um, kind of a stone opening carved into the hill, like a a cave, or it's like a. A man-made cave with a, with a stone doorway. I'm gonna make my way over that way. Oh, there it is. All the way. Yeah. Oh, I see. So it's it's on the bottom of the, the hill, but around these trees or whatever the brush. Is. Yeah, you think if you were on the base level, you could probably walk there pretty easily. Okay. I uh, I slide back down. I let everybody know there's to to walk through the brush. There's a uh, some sort of tunnel here. I don't know if it'll lead us to the top of the hill, but better than trying to climb this thing. Vera can light of Corellin will guide our path through the cave. Let's go. Indeed. <laughs> I do want to say that I love how how Chaka has like over time just just become a follower of Corellin. 
It's, it's, <laughs> it's a great little character arc that's just been going on. I love it. All, all the stars all follow the path of light. What better light than the light of Corellans? I ask you this. That's true. <laughs> Maybe a god that's actually a light god. <laughs> And nobody has yet learned that uh, that he's a creation god and has nothing to do with the sun. <laughs> what better noise is that? The sun. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I see what happened. <laughs> that scared me too. You were blown away by the storms. Yeah, the portal. They find a an opening leads into a artificial cave to main to this hill. I'm gonna, does it look dark in the inside of the cave? Or is it is it lit um, on the inside or is it dark? It's uh I don't think there's any natural lights. Okay, I'll I'll light a torch so I have I have light. Thank you. I don't have any sort of sense I, in I the dark. Figure it's okay for me because I have the ability to draw a weapon as I throw it as part of the attack, so Wow. I can I can always drop my um torch to to attack without losing any action economy. Fancy Meta gaming. <laughs> Min maxer. Not quite. It's it's, <laughs> it's what it was designed. It's one of the new Tasha's things that allows me to do that. So I was like, I'm totally building this character. It's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you go yeah. from I can see you like whipping out a dart and like throwing it underhanded. That looks cool. Well, I actually. Like for my character, I have a shield that is like a giant dartboard. Oh. I hold all my darts on there, so I just pull it off and I can throw them. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, if so I were like a rogue, it'd be anyway, go ahead, Joey. You can see pretty easily inside to the cave that it forks off into two directions. I guess I'll go first because I have a lot of armor. Clank, clank. Oh, wait, it's Mithril, so it's like soft. We should send Zizix's lizard out. Also, as soon as you like the entrance of the of the doorway is um facing the mouth of the cave, a skull of a boar rests atop a pile of humanoid and animal bones. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Lizard first. Right. So what I do is with the as an as an artificer, I um make uh I fiddle around with uh, Sally Sunshine and her eyes light up with a uh, with a glow equal to that of a torch. And I sent her in first because she's afraid of nothing. She's a crazy wow. bitch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm very impressed. I go in with her. I'm guessing you're casting light on her. Yeah. Although um, her eyes light, her eyes light up because I uh, with one of my um, features I can do uh, what's like magic tinkering. And I can okay. make objects uh, glow like like the like light was cast on them, but this is like specifically yeah, so eyes. Like I mean, it's used over Dungeoneering. Just have the Seal Defender always be the light source. <laughs> Alright. But further down, this way, you see a short hallway, and there seems to be a little pit with a uh, single boar surrounded by, by garbage. Is it like a drop pit, or is it just like, you know, it's a lower area where they throw stuff? Lower area, the boar, the boar can't get out. It's kind of chained off, but there's like just like uh, bits of animal and just like general junk. Detritus. 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 That's it. Right. It's like random like rocks scattered about. Ugh. It's like debris, it's but it's like okay. debris, but not destruction. That's enough. He, he doesn't take much notice of you. He just he's just like pigging out on this garbage. Yeah. Does it smell bad? That's horrible. Oh. <laughs> Sally moves a bit forward up this way slowly. And you're met almost immediately by a by a cell. And inside you see. Several lizard folk on the floor. Oh no! Kind of hold, hold together. I, I come up. I, I talk. Do I? Is lizard a, a language, or do they speak draconic? 
Uh, I mean, be on your seat, but it says I speak your common. Okay, I I start out in common. I I I say hello. <laughs> you I see them. Specific. You see them breathing, but uh, they're not. They're not responding to you. Are they unconscious? They're unconscious. Oh, they're unconscious. They, they're dreaming. They look kind of malnourished. Like they haven't been feeding them. Oh no! See okay. If you, can, see if you can rip open the door. Or I'll some- yeah. So the, the, you said there's a door, like a pin. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There's like um, it's, it's, it's kind of like a makeshift thing. Like it wasn't designed for. It, so it's just a bunch of like sturdy, uh, just some uh, wood planks they put up. They look pretty, pretty sturdy. Um, mono, uh, mono, try and give, give it a. Wait, yeah. is there some way we can do this without making that much noise? I just I'm not so sure. Maybe, maybe we should we should just take note and come back here. I have a thieves kit. I have a thieves toolkit. If we need, uh... but I don't think there's a lock on this. Yeah, I think it's just wedged shut. And maybe, yeah, it doesn't look like it's a door that can be picked or anything. But maybe also. Uh, Shaka can dive, they can incept them a little and make sure that they're okay, that they don't need immediate assistance. You can't speak lizard with them? Well, they're unconscious. Oh, you're going to try to mind link with yeah, them? Well, you, okay. you, you, could try, you could try waking them up. Uh, <laughs> um, I, but, um, well, I said hello. Zizek, you... <laughs> I said hello. I, oh, I tried. Hold I tried. on, here, here. Here's the pole that Big Fellow made for me. I grow it to ten feet. There, you can poke them. <laughs> I'm not gonna poke them. <laughs> they're far. They're in the back of the cell. We can't reach them. Can I use my instrument of illusions and start playing a lullaby, and then mind try to mind link with them and ask them Ooh. if they're okay? Oh, they're already unconscious. Um, in Zizix, you do notice, like you recognize these as. Your own uh, village people. Oh, I like these are your your village folk. I love it. Um, hey guys, these are these these folks were from my village. This is a good sign. That means that they're not all dead or sold off. Hopefully, we can find. Hopefully, we can find more (laughs) refugees. I th- I vote that we don't that that we don't do anything with them yet. That we note this and come back to I'd rescue say, them. Un- unlock. I say let's unlock the cell in case we don't come back. Obviously, mm. we can't. Is we there, can't. We can't we, bring them out of here. We can't. We can't. We could probably heal them a little bit or something. But we I have there was no way to unlock it because there's no lock because it's not really a door. Both very good points. Both yeah. very good points. I do. I okay. That makes sense. We should probably remove the barricade, at the very least. Yeah. All right. But you look we're like right. it seems like the only way to open this is to Bridge kind of break it down, which probably is a, is a much problem for a half orc. Um, mm-hmm. but like, who, who's ever leaving oh, this what prison about probably, isn't coming, out, probably isn't going like, back inside it. Gotcha. Baruch. A Loxodon might not have might have a Loxodon may be able to get this open. Why don't we try? We're we gonna find a Loxodon at this hour. <laughs> at this time of year. Focused entirely in your kitchen. <laughs> Apparently it's not. <laughs> oh, do, you, do you do you uh, get doing... advantage? No. Okay. You're able to make okay. a Kraken one where it kind of splits in two. Well, second time's a charm. Can I try? Nice. <laughs> yeah, you're able to. I, I managed to just rip it off and you give it to Varric and it's like, there you go, try. <laughs> <laughs> You're able to smash uh, I, through, and the and the sound of a, of the um of the wooden bars breaking 
one of the wizard folk kind of awake with a startle and lets off a scream, but it's a wizard folk scream. So it I, sounds like a more like a like a hiss. I uh say I I'd say it it in draconic. It's calm down, it's it's me, it's Zizix. We're here we're we're here to save you. You hear this lizard folk just plead like Don't take any more of us No, I'm I'm Leave us be. Don't take more of us <clears throat> We're the good guys. We're not we're freeing you. Uh where are, how many more of you are, are captured here, do you know? How many more of oh, us? There are their screams. Their screams Gimme a gimme a um a uh persuasion. Persuasion, I'm very bad at that. See <laughs> yeah, he, he's a little, he's a little, <laughs> a little too shaken up. Hey, I like to talk, guys. I, I know you guys like to talk. <laughs> oh, Joey, sorry. Um, he seems pretty, pretty, uh, pretty out of it. Like he doesn't have any sanity left. Ah. Uh. Poor guy. Um, He's at the moment. I got nothing I can really help do to bring him back to reality. Uh, but I can just—I I just said you're free. You're free to go. They won't be taking any more of you. Uh, um, you're free. And I point him toward the, the exit of the cave and and say, "Go." Safe, safe in the cage. When you leave the cage, you never come back. I'm safe in the cage. Safe in the cage. Any kind of like just. Back in back into unconsciousness. Man. Uh, I think it might be best if we left him here for now. Yeah. I play my instrument of illusions uh, and like, play like a tune from the lizard folk village. Do you know any? Uh yeah, I do. From a long time ago. <laughs> I I hum a lizard lullaby so you can play. Yeah, and I'll accompany him on my do, fancy magic. Do you, do you play you can play by ear, right? Yeah. <laughs> I can. She's Just at the, the sound of music, their 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 breathing becomes a little more steady and less erratic. That's good. Okay. Also, give them some food. Now, I don't think he's gonna be able to eat any food while he's unconscious. Only <laughs> when they wake up. Like flowers come out of my instrument. You can make anything. Come on. But you see, um, on the Sally sees from the other side a uh, a sloping passageway upward, and also an entrance to another room. I I lay a ration by by my sleeping friend and. Then I head on. There's a whole boar over there. If he gets hungry, he'll be fine. <laughs> Sally forth there. Little I recognize Sally. it. This one's a vegetarian. He won't eat boar. If he's hungry enough, he in, the other, <laughs> in the other room, Sally sees. Seems to be kind of a bedroom of sorts. An unfurnished room. Um, dishes in the wall. Hold clay, dishware, wooden utensils, various berries, bundled herbs, and creepy totems. Mm. Mm. Um, I would like to investigate uh, this room over here to see if there's any alternate passageways because uh, it doesn't. Like, this place doesn't seem like the uh, kind of place to have just a dead end. Um, as you walk to the end of the of the passageway, there's a very obvious entrance to the um, top of the hill. Oh, never mind then. It's like a trap door. Mm. Mm. The place that I'm in, or... Or is it uh, up there where Zizix is? Where you are, you're a little less. 
Um, gentlemen, friends, there is a way out through this way. Watch me. <laughs> As I, 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 I open up the, the, the trap door and slowly peek my head out. Yeah, we couldn't see the very top of the hill from the base when we were outside. Is that correct? You could, like, barely see what was going on up there. Okay. And that's where we saw the two dancers? Yeah. Okay. So we know there's at least two half orcs. Or you could think of it as one full orc, I guess. And between them, they... Two half orcs. Between them, they have a quarter of a brain. <laughs> I, bet, I bet they're wielding quarter staffs. So, big fellow, you pop your head up here. Mm hmm. Can around me as best I can. Yeah, so you look around. And you see a clear view up the top of this hill. You see the two no, no. orcs dancing in a in tandem. And they're and they're chanting orcish chant. And you see these little twig like creatures Lights. dancing around them. Gross. And, and uh. Not to any sort of rhythm, they're just kinda of moving their arms around, shaking their booties. I, I, I kind of like uh, related Zizix. Uh, I can tell you what I see, but do you want the bad news or the horrifying news? And what's even more bad news is you see several on each one of these stone altars. You see a uh, lizard folk that has had their heart uh, cut out of their chest. Jeez. Wow. They have an open, it, oh, open, uh, open cavity in their chest and they're at the in their unbeating heart is laying beside them in a bloody mess. I, I relate Wait. what I see to Zizix as only a cold, emotionless robot can. <laughs> huh. Wait, if they're if the if they're lying there is the bad news, then what's the horrifying news? Uh, they can't dance for shit. <laughs> they don't have rhythm. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right, Zizix is not gonna like this. Um, I mean, I, I don't think anybody would, to be honest. He, I mean, let me, let me, let me try something real quick. Uh, I'm going to use fireball. Well, what would be, what I want to do is let the dice make the decision for me, whether I can control myself or not. What would, what would be the equivalent of a willpower roll? In, probably probably uh, a we'll, uh, we'll, uh, um, wisdom save uh, or yeah. constitution save. Okay. Okay. I do not immediately run in and attack. You do not try to do a barbarian. I am wanting to, and I am up here just kind of with big fellow shaking. I, 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 I grab a... I grab a this is by the shoulder, like trying to comfort him. Mm -hmm. I know what you're feeling right now. It's not. You're not meant to. You're not meant to do this. Let me be mad for you. Oh. <laughs> Give me your anger. Give me your anger. <laughs> I like it. What a good friend. What a good friend. I say that out loud. What a good friend. And. Well, Thank you. And we, I believe we are, everyone here up here, that is not us, will very shortly be dead. Yes. I would like to not attempt any sort of diplomacy. No, I believe <laughs> the time for diplomacy has come to an end. Uh, these orcs are so enraptured in their in their dance and chanting they're, they're not paying much much attention okay. I so I, yeah I am I vote that we get this party started 
Uh, oh, I yeah. Analyze that sounds the, very... uh, the twigs and see what I, what I could think about them, or I could, if I could identify them. Uh, sure, give me a history check. Uh, you would recognize these as twig blights. Fairly harmless little little elemental creatures of the forest. I, I relay this information to the to the team. If it weren't raining, I, as a, if it weren't raining, I'd say bring out your torches, gents. Is this one Narux? Have we seen that one before, or is it just this similar token? Oh, it's just the what the token looks like. Got it. Okay. Yeah, the, these. You notice the hallmarks of the other Cult of Talos members in uh, both of these, even though one of them has a different icon. Got I'll, it. Uh, I'll snuff out my uh, torch, put it put it away, and then climb up and join the uh, rest of the party. Alright, shall we sally forth? Well, let's see. <laughs> Who should we... I think we should attack we should focus our attacks on one of these guys and take him down as fast as possible. Which one looks more more orc? <laughs> I'm going to say I'm going to say this guy right here looks like he needs to be priority 1. I'll go after him. All right. I mean obviously everyone can They're dancing okay. becomes more and more intense. Okay. Before you go they get in a circle around each other. Start off with like a big explosion in the middle of the room. We don't have any wizards with fireball. Gonna do something. Inspiration on Awesome. That gives me a D four for things. Is that right? An extra D four. A D six. D six. All right. Well, I think I'm going to open this. If it, if if we're if we are in position and ready to start this, I would like to get that going. Be my guest. All right. So I am going to go ahead and wild shape into a giant toad because it is a wet environment, and I think that that makes sense. Yes, but it's a storm, and you know what happens to... I'm going to move up. <laughs> it's, it's, a a <laughs> it's a deep cut. Deep, deep cut, man. Uh, the X-Men uh, uh, Ribbit! And I jump in there, and I go to bite him. Okay. And I am going to I'm roll that as soon as I can... Get the click. Doesn't he get it? Doesn't he get it? And doesn't he roll for advantage since he's this is a surprise attack or something like that? I don't think it means advantage. We're not doing initiative yet, Big Phil. Oh, that's a hit though. Awesome. Okay, he is going to take five piercing and five poison, and he is grappled. So she's just like being held by his tongue. Yeah, he, like basically, I have I have him pretty much. I have him in my mouth. Okay, so you hop into near the middle of this uh, this this uh, ring. Yes, this giant frog. And just and I have lick this orc, and she just like in disbelief, kind of looks and goes, "The prophecies were true." <laughs> Summoning, summoning the toad. <laughs> and uh, everyone roll initiative. <laughs> Didn't even need. I will save my inspiration, hopefully for a swallowing him next round. Oh, nice! That is. That is. Oh, where hey, going. it's a it's a great initiative. Me, good job. All right, if I could get a super high win, then it won't have a chance to escape. Nope. <laughs> Can I use inspiration on my initiative? <laughs> It, uh, I see no reason why you can't. It's an ability check, yeah. It's a dexterity check, basically. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to get closer to 18. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm going to stay at my... 
You're all really good uh, compared to what we usually do. Speak for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm doing pretty good. Honestly, that's not that's about average for me. I I, I think last session we uh, n none of us got over an eight. <laughs> oh yeah, we were rolling really badly. Yeah. And in our other game too, you guys had really low initiatives all the time. Uh, question: um, If that person is in his mouth, can we attack it? It is. It is for it is grappled and restrained. So whatever the, this actual status is restrained. So and actually, you haven't swallowed him yet, right? So he's probably Correct. just he's probably just sticking out of the mouth right now. Correct. <laughs> Find the special music track I have for this. I always forget to change my audio so I can hear the music you pick. You haven't heard my awesome music. I, ha I mean, I, I every time you mention music, it reminds me, <laughs> which so I can hear it. But so I have not been hearing your music now. Right now, there is there is rain. That's a real cool song. I want. I want to play it a lot. It should be Frog's theme from uh, Chrono Trigger. Yeah. <laughs> Can't use copyrighted music. Oh, are you streaming? Yeah, I got a, I got a copyright thing when I did the Heroes of Mike Magic. Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> All right, uh, is everyone rolled? Yes. Yeah. Wait a bit. All right, so these twig blights are the first to notice. And since they can only see you. Mm-hmm. So oh, long ago. Hit me. Death, death, by a thousand, death by a thousand twig blights. Yeah. <laughs> I have an AC of 11, so. Oh, God. This is going to be bad. First one's going to. One of us right next to you is gonna panically swipe at you with one, one of those little squeak hands. <laughs> Do a nine. Hey, it doesn't hit. Oh, this is. This is gonna run up. Same for it. 23. That hits. Take three piercing damage. Okay. This is going to be the same thing. The nines for this. Nine misses. <coughs> these other two just can. These other few up there just continue dancing. And the twigs are dancing too. Yeah, they're so, having a great time. They're all doing the macarena. It's not a very good ritual. <laughs> No. Do the mock <laughs> oh, wow. oh, the other the other orc is like the other orc is like guys we we practiced so many times <laughs> you're, not, you're not getting it right. <laughs> hey, Verdi can. I I am gonna move up. Here, I guess. Um, I, are are these stones uh, just big solid thing? Or yeah, never mind. Um, since I can't actually reach anybody, uh, um, I'm gonna get, really. It's all. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, sacred flame on uh, one of the uh, the uh, uh, twig bite to the left of the giant toad. Okay. Uh, deck save thir uh, 13. Seven. Alright, so. Uh, takes four radiant damage. Or, uh, yeah. Yeah, he just burns up. 
in, in holy fire, like immediately. Nice. Oh, t- uh, that's the, it. Those are the first enemies I threw at you when when we started doing D and D, Joey. Yep. Blue lights. Sweet revenge. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know they only had so few hit points back then. Oh yeah, that's why I threw a bunch of you. <laughs> okay. Around the perimeter of the stones, uh, to, the, <laughs> to the left. How far can I get to the one? Yeah, the sixty six feet. O'clock one, sixty feet. That's yeah. it. Yeah, or it's thirty feet. Sixty, thirty feet, unless you run. Yeah, I'm that would use up the action. Oh, no, if I don't run, then... Oh. I sneak around. You have a crossbow, too. Yeah, and I want to use my crossbow. On this guy? On this? Yeah, on that guy. All right, on that guy. All right, so... Boom, crossbow. Is that too far? I don't think it's too far. I don't know, do it. No, no, no. Crossbow. You can hit anything on this map right now with a crossbow. Or at least try to. Eighty-three twenty. <laughs> yeah, you hit this. Yeah, you hit this thing. It's like a tension is over by the giant toe that's asleep in. Right. Ten piercing damage. He screams. Who dares interrupts our summoning? Who dares? Chaka Khan! <laughs> Chaka Khan! It will be your death! Death sounds like a marvelous adventure. Not so, uh, he is grappled or restrained? Like, what is, uh... Oh. You're talking to Flynn's? Yeah, so he is restrained. He has to make, if he wants to get out, it's a DC 13 uh, check. I think it's strength. It has to be strength. Right? Uh, it'll say so on the giant toad. Uh, escape DC 13. So I guess that means it's a acrobatics or, or athletics, right? If it's for a grapple check, yeah. Okay. Then, yep, it is a grapple check. I'll bring him up. He's just gonna look down at her chest, see this big slimy frog tongue, and then just look at you and use and raise her hands, which start to crackle with electricity. Oh, oh no. I want I want uh Uzizix and uh Vertican. Give me a Constitution saving throw. Time. Don't they? But don't they get an advantage since? No. Uh, I don't think it would count for spell effects. Probably not range and AOE uh, spell uh, effects. Yeah, this is a, yeah, this is using a saving throw, not a, not a to hit. Yeah. So you all, as the lightning bolt erupts from her, her fingertips, you guys are, her being restrained doesn't quite hit you directly as she wanted to, but you each take, uh, you shake seven lightning damage. Oh god, it's Storm! It, but, wait, does she take lightning damage because it would go along the tongue? <laughs> it's magic. I, I don't think she'd care if she's the source of it. <laughs> and, and she goes, you know what happens to a frog? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the same thing that happens to everything else. Best line ever. Uh, cat girl. X-Men. Or uh, Catwoman. What's with all the X? We're a bunch, bunch of nerds. Root your turn. All right, well, I'm gonna rage up. Is it worth? 
and as such, let's spin the wheel of wild magic. Spin that wheel. No whammies, no whammies. That could be a whammy. Okay. Shadowy tendrils lash around me. Each creature of your choice that you can see within 30 feet of you must succeed a constitution saving throw or take 1d12 necrotic damage. Damn. Oh, damn. Oh, you can hit Zizix. Awesome. Of my choice. I know, I, I know. <laughs> It's so still if, if I'm reading this right, it's pretty much 1d12 necrotic damage. I mean, but what's the radius? 30 feet. So I, I assume you're going to get the... Uh, oh, I also gained, I also gained 1d12 temporary hit, hit points. Wow. <laughs> Good roll. So it's like deck save. Yeah, what's their save for is, it? Is it? Dustin, it's a deck save. Which are I gain constitution. Dustin. Dustin, is it a deck save? No, it's constitution. Hey. Versus what? Uh What's the DC? Uh, it does not say what the DC is. It's got to say something. <laughs> Let's see. Each shadowy creature, each creature of your choice, within 30 feet of you must succeed on a constitution saving throw. So then it's your, what's your, uh, what, what's causing this ability? My sheer unbridled rage. My sheer unbridled rage. I mean, me mechanically. <laughs> mechanically, what's it called? Uh, it just says one d twelve necrotic damage. No, I mean, what's the ability called? Wild surge. There you go, barbarian. Wild surge. Tasha's. Hold the one. Shadowy tendrils surge each creature. Blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. Uh, your DC equals 8 plus your proficiency bonus plus your con modifier. So what is your you con modifier? Say on your, uh... Okay, 8 plus proficiency plus... What's my con, con modifier? modifier? Yeah. Plus, plus 2. two. That's going to be a 12 then. Yeah. yeah. So, so everyone but one of these quick bites fail. Alright, and then they take... Six necrotic damage. What well, the one that failed, that passive? Don't think anything. No, I think. Yeah, it's, uh, it's all or nothing. Yeah, it's all, yeah, it's all, it's all or nothing. nothing. And sure. if I understand, this does not repeat. So. Yeah, that's <laughs> a. I would worry if that was a, a, a per round ability. Yeah. <laughs> As I, it happens. I, Go ahead. I had mentioned earlier that I had taken this Xanger into myself. <laughs> so <laughs> as I as I stroll stroll into battle, these dark, evil, just death feeling tentacles just start coming out of me and just start striking out at the at all of the creatures around me. Though it misses my friends and allies, because what would be the point in that? Uh, taking out these two guys, and I guess I'm going to move here, and I'm going to attack this guy with my. I'm with that would count diagonals count in attacks, right? Yes. Yes, but right, before you move forward, him. make a. Uh... Make a dexterity, a uh, dexterity saving throw. 
Oh, balls. Well, <laughs> well. That slip on your bones. 16. Yeah, so as you walk by, you see a little... a little face appear in the mud. Oh, it tries oh, to no. spew, spew you with, um, this muddy gooness. But it doesn't seem to affect you. Oh, it's a method. You're able to walk by. Oh, what a lovely creature. <laughs> And it kind of raises more and more out of the mud. You see this little impish little creature. About the size of a, of a dwarf or a gnome. I have a, I have a soft like, spot for... I'm sorry, go ahead, Joey. About half emerged in the mud. And he goes, Ah, oh, you clever little elephant. <laughs> uh, can I move back to and strike this guy instead? Or is it too late? You choose to. I'm right. Step back. Did you say something, boy? <laughs> and then I, oh, oh, oh. and then I, and I attack it with my battle axe. Is he sure it's a boy? It's from the plane of mud. Assume I'm my sure. gender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a miss, though. As, as you swing down, he kind of, like, goes back into the mud. And then reappears after the axe comes comes back up. He sticks out a, a little tongue at you. I just glare it down. Zizix, your turn. Alrighty. Zizix is going to try to swallow... <laughs> so that's dang it I'm gonna use oh no that's not it that's not the roll I oh I make a bite attack okay so I have yeah. to attack first <laughs> okay um so that's a successful bite attack first of all <laughs> uh so it's going to take 14 piercing and and 15 poison. Yeah. First of all, <laughs> you don't even have to bother. It just goes up in your mouth. <laughs> well, I continue to swallow it. Oh Gosh. god, that's gonna be so bad when you transport back. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> yep, we'll figure it out. Oh well, that's gonna. Oh, wow, that's just lovely. Wait. Do frogs actually have teeth? <laughs> I don't know. What does he taste like? Uh, and, and yes, well, I wouldn't say he's cold. It's um, probably quite warm. So, uh, let's see, just to make sure. At, and at the start of each of the toad's turn, this corpse will take 3d6 acid damage. Okay. okay. So then well, after I swallow that one, I move, I hop, I leap, I can do a standing leap of 20 feet, so nice. I jump over there and rib it really loudly and burp at Nerux. <laughs> but, and like, I want it to smell like his friend. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. And that is my He's turn. Flints, are you in there? <laughs> they had a whole routine set up for the, for the big finale. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be a duet. <laughs> That's a... Uh, Our marriage ceremony is ruined. I'm going to try and take that one down. So instead, I will take out my hand axe, run over here, and uh, attack with my hand axe. Uh, we're doing flanking, Joey. Do I get advantage against the method? I never really thought about flanking. I'm not a big fan. It's okay, uh, that's time. fine. It's an optional roll, so it's up to you. Yeah. Uh, 19 for 9 damage. That's it. 
and I go, that's how you do it, Baruch. Uh, and then uh, I will just move over here and crouch down behind the... How tall are these uh, rocks? Or these these um, slabs? Um, that's the right height. Stable height? Yeah. Uh, I'll go ahead and duck down. I'm not because I, I could probably go prone, but I'm next to a method, so I don't want to do that. So that'll be my turn. I'm just crouching down to try and get some cover if anybody tries to attack from from behind me or from from the other end. This orc isn't too happy about what you did to his friend. He's going to take out his gauntlet and uh, some Wolverine claws come out of it. He's going to strike at you with a 21. Damn. Take five slashing damage. I'm, I'm not... Who is, Who is taking that one? Um, Zizix. Okay. Got it. Big follow your turn. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up right over here uh, to where I could uh, get a good look at um, Zizix, and then I'm going to cast Sanctuary on Zizix. Ooh, what is that do? So if anyone tries to hurt my big toady friend, they're going to have to uh, do a Wisdom saving throw, um, or have to choose a different target, or or lose a turn. Uh, and keep in mind, because uh, I've played this before and, and completely forget when it ends, that if the warded creature makes an attack, casts a spell that affects an enemy or deals damage to another creature, the spell ends. Yeah, so if, if Zizix attacks something, the spell ends, but if anything tries to attack you before them, like, say, these mm-hmm. quick lights, they'll have to do a wisdom saving throw or lose a turn or something. Yes. Works for me. Right. And then... Um, what happens next is uh, Sally comes over here, seeing what's going on, and looks to her right and sees this little twig blight and thinks it's another construct that she is, and she's really excited that she gets to make a new friend. <laughs> and, uh, so very energetically, she runs over to it and tries to give it a, a nice big old high five. Tries to high five a planet. <laughs> As her hands connect, the blight just explodes. It's a million little, it's like a million little twigs. Uh, Sally has no goes, idea. Sally has no idea what happened, but she knows that her new friend is now sleeping for some reason. Reason. Yeah. That's then Sally's turn. Now these twig boys notice, and once again, they notice a giant frog. So going to come over. 20. Uh, we has got to do the sanctuary roll first. Well, that just, just misses, right? Uh, if he uh, fails the save. So it's wisdom saving throw, whatever big fellow's DC is. My DC is, hold on. Um, my save DC is 15. Wow. A high DC. Rolls a, it rolls a 16. Damn it! <laughs> so that one can attack, yes. <laughs> or that one so can attack. Yep. Four piercing damage. Alrighty. I can't see Joey's rolls. Mm. He's the GM. I, I can uh, you don't see the DM. Change oh. it, baby. No, no, I no, no, no. I rolled a 16, though. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 bet, I bet it works out in their favor sometimes, too. <laughs> yeah, let's... yeah, if you saw my rolls, I'd have to obey it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's keep the rolls in. But trust me, though, I'm not like... I know. I, I'm not uh, cheating in my favor. Trust me, <laughs> I lie. <laughs> <laughs> so this one rolls a 16, too. Do, do I have to roll another, another check? Each, each, cre- each creature that attacks him has to do that check. So if he passes, that one also gets... It's a big blow. You're sanctuary, and Zizix's like, yeah, and then just <laughs> crap you out of him. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> he fails with an right. eleven. 
So he has to either choose a new target or lose the attack. So this is the attack. Yeah, there's no one else around him. This is gonna run up. But now the spell's over though, right? Nope. No, no, it's up in, it's only until Zizix attacks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sanctuary. Yeah. <laughs> we rolled a nat zero. Yeah! <laughs> a nat zero? Dice are you that using? One. <laughs> yeah. So he misses two. Alright. Where to camp? Uh, I wanted to go after the big guy, but now everybody's in my way. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see if I... And uh, I'll end up dealing with this one. And since I'm in range, uh, battle axe to the face. Yeah, that hits. He just explodes. Little twig pieces. Lord. You don't even <laughs> cut down the tree in its prime. Yeah. Uh, a minimum damage would be four. Yeah. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Chaka. Uh, I move around the perimeter more to the left. Try to get a better angle on the, the, the orc guy. Half orc. Half I just do my, uh, whatever it's called again. Crossbow. 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 So used to healing us, you forgot how to attack. Excuse me? You're so used to healing us. Uh, I not... heard you. I can still <laughs> attack. I bet you forgot what the attack is called. You forgot it. I know. You don't have to. That one just hits her. Just hits it. It's nine damage. Shaka. Wait, no, that was that was Big Fellow that did that. Sorry, shit. What the heck? I was on the Big Fellow. That thing. was Chris's fault, not mine. That was my fault. Sorry. But we really gotta get you guys two computers. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't need it. I, this is enough D and D for me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll roll get a shock. I'm sorry. I have that other table. No, it doesn't matter. You hit her. All right, oh, never mind then. That was shitty. Yes, yes. Uh, it, it was definitely shock that hit it. The shock as you go further down, you notice another one of those trap doors. Right here. Okay. Yeah, but let the team know you said trap door. I shout I shout out that there's a trap door over here. Burn. <laughs> what? He's a giant toad. <laughs> He's a toad, don't you know? <laughs> so I was just so confused. Must be so confused from everything. <laughs> so the little men fit by Maruk raises this little mud fist, punches you for twelve. Nope. Yeah, I think you're tough, huh? I think you're tough, huh? And then he, Deek. yes, yes, I do way. think I'm tough. What do you think? Oh, uh oh. Hee hee hee. Um, never mind. I just. I just look at him. I raise my battle axe. And I do a reckless attack. Thank you for the advantage. I'm That's doing okay, it one, hand. Roll one more time. We'll roll one more time in case it's a crit. Yeah, true. That no, nah, it rolled twice. Oh, it, it rolled oh, twice for one roll. one-handed and two-handed. You can you can roll one more time to hit. Okay. 
So uh, it takes 12 damage. This is eating crow. Little droplets of blood are like oozing off him. But he's still standing. Zizix. Alright. Zizix is going to try to bite on uh, the half orc in front of him. You still got your bardic inspiration? I do. I haven't had to use it yet. Use it. I will. I, I may not need to. Let's see. Okay, I think I am going to use it because I feel like <laughs> it's not going to hit. Alright, so add uh, one piece. 1d6, yeah. Okay, so add one. So oh, I. No, that should hit. 14. That's a hit, though. That's a hit? That's a hit. Yeah. Yep. Alright. It helped. <laughs> it helped. I think it might have done it. Then uh, it takes three piercing and five poison and is chomped, which means grapple and restrained. Yes. He is hungry today. <laughs> did we did we feed our lizard before we left? <laughs> We didn't get the ones downstairs. The dark Oh, one. yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I still got the method in front of me, so I'm going to just go ahead and deal with that, because... Uh... Otherwise, it's going to give me disadvantage on everything. So... And... Oh, another six on damage. Fifteen to hit the method. Yeah, that hits. Doing so nine damage. So strike with your hand axe, and like parts of them starts to like bubble, like bubbles start, blood bubbles start appearing all over his body, and like expand until he just pops in a uh, shower of mud. <laughs> and I want Dardagon. Oh no! Big big fellow. And Maruk to make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, saving throw, not check, on. remember. Oh, is this. Oh, if I'm seeing this, I get an advantage. Yep. Didn't know there were mud bombs. Yeah, so you all pass, so the, the mud just passes harmlessly by you. Haha, <laughs> puny mud. With I'll that, I will continue my turn. I will jump onto this, come out here, and I will throw my uh, hand axe using a maneuver at that twig blight. Um, you can do that as bonus action, whatever. Yeah, that's with my maneuver. It's a it's a bonus action thing. I uh, unfortunately yeah. I don't think I can see the half orc, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take out what's yeah. around. That's well, probably not necessary. Uh, where was it? I'm sorry. I'm looking for the specific ability. Um, actions. Yeah, maneuvers, quick toss, just to. So, sorry, let me uh, throw my hand axe. So, 19, so it does more than enough to kill that. Yeah. A <laughs> little twig boy. Yeah, I would have used my um, D6 instead of the D8 one. So, I still have a D8 left for superiority dice. Those orcs can't move, right? Uh, correct. I'll put the, uh, this condition reference for restrained. He's gonna do... So you see his eyes start flicker with lightning. <laughs> as the thunder within him gathers. Even though thunder isn't physical. <laughs> Is 
to cast a uh, thunder wave. Do a, con a DC 12 Constitution saving throw. Oh, wish I still had that inspiration. Damn. <laughs> well, that's going to be a big hit. I think you're about to eat that lightning. Yeah. It's okay, you'll just turn yeah, back. Yeah, so you, uh, you take 11, or no, 6 lightning damage. Really? Even with a failed save? Why did I argue? <laughs> Six it is. It's already done. <laughs> yeah, that's, what, that's the damage he rolls. You want more? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh boy. I mean, sometimes. I mean, just. All right. So you're also pushed back ten feet. Does he, so he direction. moves with me? <laughs> yeah. he, well, let's he see. Would... Roll, roll another Constitution save. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so rules is written. It would be force movement ends a grapple, but he's also okay. trained, so it's it's weird. It's up to you, Joey. <laughs> yeah, I mean you're you're knocked back. Bite your tongue. You releases them. Okay. It's one of those things where, like, the, the situation doesn't necessarily, like, call for the same thing that's going on. Kind of, kind of yeah. like when I did the... Oh, oh. Wh 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 where the heck is he going? He just got fucking swallowed He's... by a toad. He's Get out of danger. <laughs> save me, Twig Light! Save me! Cover so... my escape! If we just we just step on them as we crit chase them. <laughs> <gasps> Yeah, he, he tries scared. to run away as he can. Okay. So, um. Thank Phil. Are there any loose rocks about, around where I am? Um, yeah, there's bound to be. Alright, I would like to cast Catapult at him as he's fleeing. Boom. You could probably pick up some of the wood chips from the, the broken things. Huh. Wow, can see damage. That was a good roll. Yeah, so a, a rock hits him right in the forehead. As he runs by, he's like... Oof. That's the first time I've ever hit someone with that catapult spell. Each time just goes right past. That's awesome. And it's actually, you notice, it's not a, a rock. It seems to be a... Some kind of bone. Okay. Nice shot. And um, uh, Sally uh, glances a little bit to her left and sees another new friend over there, and she eagerly like uh, like like dances in place and runs over to her new friend and tries to give him a big old hug. Sally, the battle raging barbarian construct. Battle ragers have it's the actually, armor. <laughs> it's actually not enough to hit it. Like it, it, she aims like too high above its head. Or it ducks, below, ducks underneath as she hugs. <laughs> but the twig, the twig hugs her back though. And goes, oh, <laughs> mama. All I needed was a little <laughs> love. <laughs> But you have to die. <laughs> no! And it has to roll that disadvantage because I'm evasive. Track of evasive action. Is that a thing? <laughs> yep. Where is it? My reaction is deflect attack. Um... Okay, so uh, she rolls a, t rolls a 10. Uh, 15 uh, is my AC, so it does not hit. Uh, I will hit. But, but they continue to hug. Alright. That's ah, just adorable. 
They thought they could hug each other to death, but they were wrong. <laughs> you shall not escape Corellan's wrath and cast Guiding Bolt at the Fling Belt. He what? will escape! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he barely escapes. Stop running! <laughs> A beam of light shines through the, the, the sky of Corellan's blessing, but light doesn't hurt him, so it doesn't do anything. I, I aim where he is, not where he will be. <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, so since uh, Sarah's currently uh, in the kitchen, I'm going to take over her. Um, <clears throat> so I move over here, <laughs> and I look at the escaping Narex, and I say, No, no, you bad man! And I cast uh, Dissident Whispers! Are you me? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Is that how oh, it's seven. No. <laughs> How dare this, this is actually not going to be as helpful as you think, unless it oh. kills him outright. It also, it also oh, makes him damage. Make I imagine the crossbow, just so you know. <laughs> is he afraid of you? If uh, on a failed save throw, it takes 3d6 of psychic damage and must immediately use its reaction if available to move as far away from you, as, as it, it can. So it takes um, nine damage and then runs, but loses its reaction. Oh, um, I don't think that's going to work in our favor. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so where where is he now? Right there. No, he's he's has to run like thirty feet unless he's used his reaction. Oh, okay, so yeah, he he basically expends his reaction to to yeah, dash. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah, he begins to run away down the hill, and uh, let's see if he slips and falls. <laughs> He slips right off there. Oh, we can't even see him. He's into the void. <laughs> oh well, I think he got. I think he got away. Battery fell. Um. So um. Hmm. Uh, I guess I should not have done that. You mean Shaka? Yeah, I, I guess Shaka should not have done that. Yeah, that was not the smartest to move, Shaka. It's. I mean, it does psychic damage, but I mean, yeah, that that's generally used to to force people to move away and use up the reaction, and then everybody just gets a bunch of um, uh, opportunity attacks due to it. I, I was banking that I'd get more than just a nine with three d sixes. Yeah, honestly, that's that's would have been pretty good, but I mean, uh, yeah, you got okay. two one. Um, <laughs> I guess. So he's at the bottom of the hill, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Can I run? Can I go? Can I enter here? Can I enter here? Go back down and try and run back towards the outside. That's going to be a lot more than your dash movement. Just yeah, better just to run towards them. <laughs> well, I guess I'm... Okay, let me see here. It would involve having to go down a long, uh, long ladder. And then run around the rest of the hill to get to them. Yeah, okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to start making my way over this way. Let me see here. Uh, okay. uh, what's it when I can move? 
without attack, it was like dash. A dash. If you use your action to dash, you basically double your. You, you add your speed right. to your. You move twice as far. Okay, let me see how far I can. Let me see. All right. <laughs> okay, this is the this is the edge of the top of the hill right here. Oh, oh there he is. Oh, okay. Let me see how far that is. To... Yeah, I'm going to dash. I mean, you have range attack, right? No, I do not. You no, have a javelin, right. you can throw it. Do we have advantages he has a high ground? <laughs> uh, oh. Well, I guess I'll go just... Okay, that's 30. Ready? There. Yep. I'm going to move to here, then. And I'm going to throw my javelin. Where were you, right? Right here? Right here. You can't go in a straight line. There's there's uh, things in front of you. Oh. So. Okay, 5, 10, 10. Okay, hold on. 5, 10, 15. 5, 10, 15. 25, 30. Oh, I guess I can go mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Oh, well, then I might as well just dash. Since I, I can't... I, I, my, range, my range is not... He's a javelin, right? Javelin would be 26. So you'd have disadvantage, but, I mean, you could still... Still attack. And you don't want... Oh, you're not raging. So you are raging. You wouldn't want to lose your rage, so... Oh, yeah, you got to attack or else you lose your rage. All right, I'm, I will try throwing my javelin... At him as far as I can. I mean, you're right though. You have a you have a height you have a height advantage. So this roll normal. Look at Joey being a good DM. Mm -hmm. Sixteen nice. hits. Takes five piercing damage. Like Ace and Toro, where it sticks into his like leg, and he's like, "No!" Nah! <laughs> 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 he's looking I'll, fairly bloody. I'll be fairly honest; I did not expect that to work. <laughs> Diet Toad, your turn. All right. I can't really move fast. I only have a move speed of 20. Um, but what I want to do, I have a jump. I just want to jump and land and stomp on this other, this last twig. <laughs> so that's what I want to do. You tell me what I need to roll to see if I can. <laughs> just roll a, a like attack with your bite. Okay. Uh, I keep closing my toad. Bite. So is your toad. Yeah, you just smush it. It smushes right in front of Sally, and Sally sees that her new best friend is dead, and angrily starts like wailing, like childishly, on the giant toad in front of her. I lick her <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> and that is my turn. Right, well, on your turn. So for me, I will go ahead and 5, 15, 30. The true strength of a dark man. And I shall dart him. Uh, my range is 20, so we'll be disadvantaged. But we have the height advantage. So yeah, so normal roll, normal. Roll, Joey? What's that? Yep. Okay. Normal roll. Just raiding from above. Ugh. 11's not going to hit. It's not. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and action surge. Okay. Uh, marking it off a thingy thing. I'm going to go ahead and dart him again. Better. That one hits. Uh, I'll keep that. 
uh, eight, and then I'm I'm gonna go ahead and superiority. I'm gonna go ahead and attack him one more time with another quick toss. So the bonus action dart, dart number three, another another miss. Well, one out of three ain't bad. Yeah, that's how many darts I get when I. <laughs> so bad at this. Now I gotta go get him. <laughs> Good luck, Jack. So that's my turn. Yeah. So this thing hits him right in the throat. He starts to bleed out. Oh, was did the did the the one that hit was enough to kill him? No. The third one didn't hit because it was a ten. Oh, I thought you used a like a damage dice. No, no, no. This was to attack again. So this oh. wasn't this wasn't a uh, add um, damage to it. Never mind, you still alive. Yeah, I actually don't have one of those, and I'm probably gonna pick them up next time I can. <coughs> Um, can I say one thing? Am I at the top of the hill? Can I yeah. go prone and slide down the hill without it being extra movement? <laughs> nice. Um, you would probably take damage. I will do that. <laughs> like if it'll let me, if it'll let me slide right next to him without movement, I will take that damage. <laughs> he ran away. Because of the Disney Whisper that you, your character did. Oh. My little bitch. So, Joey, up to you how you want to so, deal with that. <laughs> but I'm going to basically just, after throwing those darts, I'm going to wet and wild dive. Wet and wild slide dive. <laughs> Roll the acrobatics. Twenty-three. Yeah, that's enough. Uh, how much movement do you use to get here? Uh, to get there was 30 exact. I could probably, like, if you let me jump on something because they're table height, I could probably get there with a little less. But I mean, you use 30 to get there. You yeah. can't move anymore. Well, that's what I was asking, if I could just go prone and slide down the hill. No, no. I mean, you'd have okay. to have a little bit of... Okay, that's fair. Sorry. Good idea. No worries. Yeah, that's what I was just wanted to get next to him and try to prevent him from running without me uh, <laughs> getting an opportunity attack. So this uh, orc kind of, like just kind of yells into the into the night, into the sky, and you see his features start to change. Wow. And uh, turns into. Turns into a boar. <laughs> oh. Is he the spy all along? Uh-huh. He's gonna run straight toward you, Gardagon. Up the hill. <laughs> Up the hill. He has those hooves. Yep. And, uh, First, he's gonna try to bore you. He's gonna tusk you. Ten. He's gonna miss though. Yep, ten will miss. But he's looking pretty hurt. So, um, I move to this side of Maruk. I take aim with my um, crossbow. And I let loose. I'm fudge. And That's you miss. <laughs> Watch where you're aiming that. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was thinking like that or the magic missiles. I should use the magic missiles. Damn no! I, but Sally has got her turn. Yeah. Yeah. Sally's over there, and then she uh, clunks him. Yeah. Clunk him. No one else to hug. Fifteen hits, that's enough to to kill him. She's not a fan of boars. 
No, they she bore her. She tried to hug him, and then she squeezed him to death. Okay, that's what it is, yeah. <laughs> oh, she... She, uh... I, is it, Sally is Elmira Duff. Don't know who that is, but the name's on. Uh, from the Tiny Tunes? From X Men? Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna <laughs> hug him and squeeze him and call him George. Oh! <laughs> yeah. So he, uh, as he dies, he kind of. Shifts back into his orc form. And he goes, May our deaths be enough, be a sacrifice for Gorthok. They won't. And their bodies <laughs> oh, begin to crackle God. with <laughs> their bodies begin to crackle with the electricity, both oh, yeah. of the dead orcs. <laughs> as two lightning strikes hit the bodies and just kind of disintegrate them. And another lightning bolt hits the direct center of the um, of the ritual circle. I have the and then another. Focus. And then another. And then instantly this giant boar crackling with lightning ah! Oh my god. appears in the middle. Oh my god, it's Gorthok. Oh. And, uh, I haven't seen him uh, in 600 Zizix. years. <laughs> Zizix, I want you to make a uh, constitution saving throw. Okay. One. Eleven. So you're not back, but ten feet. Okay. Okay. Oh, lucky you! <laughs> you took me take four lightning damage as a, uh, a thunder waves erupts from this boar. What is his size? He is huge. huge. Okay. Yeah. He's about the size of a small barn. Okay, that is crazy. That's a lot of pork, folks. I think we're gonna need Corellin's um everything. I think we're gonna need a I think we're need to gonna be a bigger barbecue pit. That's what I think. And it lets out this squeal that just sounds like thunder crackling with lightning. Charges toward the giant toad. Oh, okay. I'm all for the thing that dies and turns back into a human, taking all the damage. And it's gonna bring its hose down on you. 25? That'll that'll hit, believe it or not. <coughs> Take 13 bludgeoning damage. Alrighty. So, that brings Zizix back to to play, and Zizix is taking 1 damage from that. It's going to swing its head around to you, Shaka. With a uh, 18. Uh, You're going to take 11 slashing damage. 11. 11. Because Gorthok still has it after all these years. <laughs> well, that's the Gorthok I knew and loved. <laughs> loved. We had, a, we had a little thing. <laughs> you, you never said he was a pig. Four. Verdict and your turn. Can't. 
the bigger they are, the harder I have to hit. <laughs> And I'm probably not going to. No, that was a miss. Uh, it just goes thunk. You feel the electricity just kind of flow through your hammer as your hand tingles. Taka. I'm, I'm going to cast Fairy Fire on him. Nice. And then as a bonus action, I would like to give... I can still do Bardic Inspiration as a bonus action. Yeah. Uh, to give it to Maruk. <laughs> ooh, nice. What's a deck saving throw? On the Fairy Fire? Uh, your next yeah, right. If you want the flavor of it glowing, roll a 17 so it's not glowing. Alright, it's not glowing. It's, it's, not glowing. It's, it's glowing. It's glowing blue. Okay. But I, electricity. My fire, can my fairy fire change the color? Uh, if, it fa- if it fails a dexterity saving throw, then it's oh, glowing. It but it's it just fail. outlined in a... Uh, let's see here. Ruth, I want you to make a make a uh, DC eleven dexterity saving throw. Right. Who's as another me? as another uh, Memphis appears and tries to s- spray uh, mud on you. Oh, so, another DC, another dex check. Yep. Since I see, all right, since I see this coming, it's at advantage, so... Hey, boss. Yep, like you. <laughs> so oh, I'm getting method. real oh, yeah. sick of this. Shaka, I want you... To, I want you... Well, no, it's just, uh... Another Memphis appears right next to you, but it's not going to bother to um, try to grab to spray mud on you. It's just going to punch you with this little fist. With an eighteen, you're going to take five bludgeoning damage. Ah, uh, nuts! Hey, Maruk, you're coming. I just, I just barrel past the way. I can't do that without getting an attack of a, giving him an attack of a tuning, can I? Hmm. You got a lot of hits. You know what? Yeah, I just barrel past this guy and move, move here so I can attack this guy. But he gets an attack on me on my way up. I just, but I just look at, I look at him as he tries to. Wait, can I? Let me ask this. I look at, I, I give him this look of just, go ahead and try it. Is it the evil Luigi stare? <laughs> it's the evil Luigi stare, yes. <laughs> Can I roll intimidation? <laughs> <laughs> he just shakes his fist at you, though, like, yeah! <laughs> And then I, and then as, you know what? I have a feeling I'm going. I'm going to go ahead and use my bark inspiration on my when as I attack on the attack. Well, you, you can do it after you roll, but before you're told. Yeah. You know, if you get a natural twenty, you don't have to waste. Uh, is that going to be enough though? I don't know. 
I don't think Vera can hit with his fort. So I'd say roll one. I, yeah, I'd I'm say add that, add that thing. Was it, what is it, 1d6? 1d6, yeah. yeah. I'm going to add that this to my hit die. If it will let me... I said 1d6. Why did it go 3d6? I would take that first one a 3. A 3. Yeah, that's able to hit. I just... You do. 10 damage. Let's out squeal like that one actually caused a lot of pain. A good hit. Yeah, you, you also roll an advantage when you hit the guy. A flying hit. He rolled. He rolled twice. Um, and, and hold on, before Dardagon goes, when I deleted the boar, it took me out of turn order. I, I had a six before. So. So yeah, you, go, I, you go before me. I'll, I'll I'll go ahead and roll and pop myself back in, but I just wanted to call that Turn out. There, go ahead and just. Okay. Six. Okay. Uh, Zizix is going to cast Flaming Sphere and bonus action hit it, slam it into. Let me get my let me get my fire. Uh, I thought I there it is. Then we're gonna do, boom. I don't know how the slamming works, but that's, yeah. I want to. I think I have to use a bonus action to make it move and hit. So that's what I want to do. Was that a dexterity save? Yes. Uh, it is a DC thirteen dexterity save. What was a three? Okay. Then a five fire damage. Hey, already on. Wait, I, I, okay, never mind. I'll wait till I turn about. I gotta ask a question. What's wait, the question? What? Go ahead. Uh, what round is it? What, like five, oh, four, five now? What's okay. Why is that? I'm just, this battle looks like it's gonna be a long one. I'm <laughs> trying to keep track of when my rage ends. You get a full minute of rage. It's very unlikely that it'll do that. Um, I will actually. I'll get. I'll stay behind. I'll get a little bit close to to get within range. I'll say your next your next turn will be your your fourth. I think. Okay, uh, I don't, it doesn't end till ten. Yeah, I will throw a dart at advantage. I'm gonna hit. Oh. Neither of those hit. What are you? What are you gonna do? What's wrong with you, darts? I look at my hand, shaking a little bit, and I uh, jump behind cover because <laughs> I am tapped out of special abilities. Because I foolishly decided to waste one on a twig blight. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that twig blight could have. Uh, it had a know. knife. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you all saw it. <laughs> yeah. Sure did. Big flow. Alright. So, um I'm right here and I see the uh, the mud thing, but I, I recognize the, the boar as something that's a little bit a little bit uh, more on the uh, priority list, and so I uh <laughs> I, I, I cast magic missile on it. <laughs> Then I, hit it, I do it two more times, right? Yeah, two, two times. Unless you want to expel more slots. One, and then another one. Pretty good, you do 11 damage. So, like, missiles fly out of my arm, like, like all guided towards uh, this thing's face. And then um, Sally, seeing this, thinks it's fireworks, and runs up to it, 
and uh, like uh, tries to like join the fireworks and ends up clonking this thing in the head or attempting to uh, with a force rend. At advantage. Why is it at advantage? Because he has very far on him. Oh, that's right. Oh, it just hits it. Ooh, you know it's AC. <laughs> and thus concludes my turn. That's strange. It's got the same AC as I do. I'm stronger. Duh. First thing it does is it kind of does a snarl into the air. And a lightning bolt comes down right onto Zizix. Now we we do a dexterity saving throw of 15. Fine. Huzzah! Yeah, you save. But you take... Uh, big 11 lightning damage. Wow. That's a big one. <laughs> oh, as, as, as it comes back down, it's supposed to come down on Shaka. Why? Uh, 24, I imagine, hits. Nice. Ah, yeah. Um, you take 12 oof. bludgeoning damage. And three left. And let's say three thunder damage. Oh, no. <laughs> and three. So I got nothing. You faint. Yeah. You, you, gotta, you got the vapors. I fainted. Could Gorthok do this to you? As it comes down, it swings around. He tries to tusk um, Maruk. Alright, what's it? It's a mine. How many, how many attacks does this have? Boss, it might have like a triple attack. It just... it. It does not hit. It 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 kind of plinks off me. Earth hand. I'm going to try to smash this thing again. Um, I would suggest if you have some sort of healing, you might. I know. Wanna... I'm getting there. <laughs> Bonus action. Nice. And there you go for that. Of course, it's a one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I go tink against it, and then I do uh, a healing word on uh, on her. Sure. You did more healing than damage. Oh, I am a cleric. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, Shaka gets six uh, health back. Thank you, American. Thank you, Corella. Now get sweet vengeance. <laughs> Corella needs all the followers he can get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Saka. Um, be out this round. <laughs> no, you're back up. Oh, thank you, Eric. Um, so I'll attack it with dragons, dragon bane. Advantage. Advantage. It seems gonna hit. Two-handed. About oh, takes the full brunt of that. Dead. 
Yeah, I'm gonna move away from the mud bitch and the hog. Can I move there? I can't. Wait, what are you saying? Well, fuck it, then I'll just stay where I am. <laughs> what do you mean, there's rules? <laughs> yeah. You can disengage. Oh, wait, no, you can't. You already used your. Yeah. yeah. It's okay, Vera can get you back up next turn. Yeah? the only one I can rely on. <laughs> yeah, I, this, uh... I throw darts. I can't throw a healing dart into you. I am not an Overwatch <laughs> character. <laughs> this, uh, Benfit raises his fist and gives you a little punch. You take two bludgeoning damage, Chaka. What? We're in for a fight. You got, you got mud punched. I'm just gonna try to attack Big Follow, but. Maroof. Alright. Well, uh, let's. I can't really think of anything else to do but attack the. Uh, attack the big old light thing for it. With advantage. Six damage to it. Yep. This lightning begins to flicker more and more rapidly around it. I am going to. I've got a feeling that it might be a good idea to step over. Oh, wait. What's this attack range? So I know where to step. Has he, has he, well, have we seen him attack from further than five feet, Joey? No, no, it's like it's normal five feet. Okay. Yeah, that's something you don't have to disclose to us, bud. So I really can't move away without him attacking me, so I think I'm just gonna... I'll just move here. You can pivot around turn. him as long as you don't move out of the way. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get next to Varrican. Get over here. And I'll be my turn. I actually forgot to use roll concentration for that orb. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, uh, fairy fire is probably down too. Oh, it's, it's right. Shock and drop. All right, hold on. So, well, that that was uh, a. See what that was. Um, that was eleven. It's just a roll a uh, constitution saving throw. Okay. Actually, as a war caster, I get advantage on it. Nice. Cool. That doesn't help. Doesn't help. He did one more. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It, uh, no one's here. That's okay. All right. Doesn't fairy fire also go away? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, why is that? Oh, because of Shaka. Shaka no, because. Right, Zizix is going to take cover behind this altar here. <laughs> and cast. Um, you're going out of his range. Oh, I was in his range? Yeah. Shoot. Warners. Could disengage, but I don't think well, I have any idea. But I need my action to be able to cure myself. <laughs> Hell. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna disengage and and go over there, and hopefully that might have some sort of cover. That's and, let's see, do I have anything that's a bonus action? Oh, I think that's your I think that's your entire turn if you disengage. No, oh, it's just disengage is an action, so he still has a bonus action and movement. Okay. Fourth. I'm reading something. Let me see if I want to do this. Hold on. Uh, what's it called? I might know it. Healing Spirit. Uh, that basically puts a little orb down that has been dark mm. recently that people can run into, I think, like three or four times now uh, and heal. So you could put that, like, right on Chaka and it'll heal her immediately or mm. on, her, on her turn. It is super weak. 
It used to be super strong because it would last for a minute. So people would use it out of combat and just tight, yeah. just conga line through it. <laughs> so I'll take what I can get. I think I'll be of more use if I keep my third level cure wounds available or or yeah. yeah yeah I'm gonna I am not gonna do anything. I, <laughs> my turn's over. Actually, yeah, run and hit uh, him. Yeah, actually. I don't know. If we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Dart's are gone. Uh, again, I'm tapped, so I'm just going to do what I can. Throw a dart. Oh! Yes! Natural 20! Yay! Huzzah. And, and, and... Piercer feet. Oh, it added the piercer feet in there. So I do a total of... 15 damage with one dart. But you don't think you actually do that much as it actually oh. hits up. <laughs> you don't think you did that much. It's not a magical yeah. dart. Dang. Big fellow. Alright. Um, this thing is looking to be pretty hurt. Uh, I'm actually seeing that there's a lot of like people like in the way. I'm gonna actually come around and just say, "Hey, come after me, you stupid boar!" and try and get its attention. So I'm going to uh, again, um, like, uh, open up another compart other compartments on my body and launch some magic missiles. Two of them, to be precise. I, I had to think twice. Why did it? Why did it only do one charge? Uh, keep, keep doing it. It's it's um, set up so it only does it once. So yeah, but like uh, it's like I did three last time, but now I only have one charge left out of the seven. Oh, no, the attack only goes one time, so I just I'll have it have it do it two more times. Yeah, because each rules charge are... is, is one bolt. Oh, okay. Oh, when you're down to your last charge. I would suggest you. If I'm down on the last charge, then I'm not going to do it. Yeah, like, hold, I, hold that for when we need to hit something. <laughs> I, I only used three last time, and then I did the one here, but why is it down to one? It was at seven earlier. So you should be able to do three then. I should, but like, I don't want to hit use it. Did you, did you use it during the other battle? No, I did not. It's just like, I, th I think something's going on with this uh, Beyond D&D thing where I click it, and it, 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 the, the, the charge goes down, but the dice don't roll. Uh, well, part of it is that Magic Missile... All of the, all of them are supposed to be one roll, and you basically have done three. So, but usually people play it as each dice, each each missile has its own roll. So just roll a d4 two more times, um, and then add one to each. So do d plus d4 plus one. So do another nine damage to that. So nine plus three, twelve, and that's three darts. What? Why is he getting those numbers? So like like that, three and four. Did you follow me, Joey? Uh, each missile is one d four yeah. one one. Yeah. So, it, it, and I think that's the rule for the wand. Each dart. Seven plus two is nine. That makes sense. Yeah. Either way, so, he, he's doing three darts, Joey. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay, just make sure. But I'm asking. <laughs> Like, I'm kind of unsure on the rule about the wand. I think it's one charge equals a dart. Uh, you can use it in action to cast one or more of its charges to cast Magic Missile Spell for it. For one charge, you cast the first level of Argent. Oh, each charge is the, is uh, a level of the spell. So it starts at three. One charge is three missiles. Yeah. Two uh, charges would be four. So I've been using, I've been using the spell wrong. Okay. A little bit. So I, I should have. I should have. Um, you should have five part. charges left if the last one you did was only three misses. Yeah. So you should have only. This would be your second spent. All right. You got that, Joey? So he takes ten damage, right? Uh, twelve. Yes. Twelve. Twelve. And then. Uh, and then, um, Sally, uh, he, why does he take 12? It's, it's D4 plus one. Uh, the three and the four don't have the plus ones on it, so add two to that. So it's seven plus two. Plus. 
So this thing falls to the ground. Its body, like electricity around him, just gets fiercer and fiercer. And oh, it looks no. like he's fallen, but the electricity <laughs> charges him back to life. Oh no! And he's still standing. He's either a zombie or a half orc or an orc. He's Gorthok the Thunder Boar. Come on. God, he is a god. <laughs> a purple <laughs> orc. Puny God's gonna fall to my dart. <laughs> but that's 16 from Sunshine Sally. He just goes, Nope, I don't think so. Mm. He gives a little kick in the shin. The tiniest <laughs> of little kicks. And the boar just yells out as thunder and lightning crackles all around him. And he slowly disintegrates in a little sparkles of electricity. Glitter everywhere. Oh, God. It's it knows. Oh, God. It's never going to go away. Oh. And no. Go so set. I go over to Sally and I pat her on the ha- pat her on her head. Good job. job. Still in combat. <laughs> There's still a method. Oh. There's still two methods. What? He he sees the the sunshine appear as the clouds uh, um, disperse and the rain stop. And he just goes, ah, "That's my cue." And both of the the methods go back into the mud. Mm. And crawl away. All right. Oh, those things! Those things come from the plane of mud—an entire plane made of mud. <laughs> I walk over to Sally and I pat her on her head and ruffle her hair and say, "Good girl." She's not a dog. Yeah. Sunshine Sally looks right up with a, an emotionally dead face, but you can tell that she's smiling on the inside. <laughs> Hey, there's a, you said, so I, I go over to where uh, somebody pointed out, it was either Chuck or Zizix pointed out there was another um, uh, trap door over here. And I kind of go, that maybe. Was, yeah, it was Chaka, yeah. Maybe yeah. there are a couple, we should look around and see if there are any more trap doors and there might be more uh, uh, captives. So I'm going to do a quick sweep of the area, see if I can find any other trap doors. Yeah, you see another one right here. And each one leads to a similar um, living area, complete with a cage for lizard folk. So, um, and, pro- oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, in, in, in each of the caves, they look uh, emancipated and dehydrated. Emaciated. emaciated. They are not emancipated. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Zizix. You. Uh, can you cast Goodberry? I can cast Goodberry. So yes. one Goodberry is enough nutrition for an entire day. Right. So if we're going to think that this is pretty easy to, to get back, that would probably be a good way to... <laughs> Give nourishment to all of your lizard folk tribes. Fair point. Yep. So yeah, Very so we can say that. one by one. Pretty, much, you just set these lizard folk free. Okay. Give them some good berries, and they and they uh regain their health. Yay! One of them talks to you and go, "Aren't you?" Zizix, the the druid in training. I am. Yes. Um, are there any more of our our village of our kin anywhere else that you know of? Is this all that's left? We all came from the manse in the middle of the forest. That's where they're holding most of us captive. Every night they would take a number of us and I don't know what, what, hap- what happened. They never came back. 
Oh, well, definitely don't look at the rocks upstairs. Yeah, don't go up the hill. <laughs> um, all, of our, all of our chieftains were taken hours ago. All right, well, yeah. you're free now. You're safe. There's, there's none left. There's no chieftains left. Well... Is there any, while they're doing that downstairs, is there anything we can get from the, like, not looting the bodies up here, but, like, any identification or, like, moment or personal effects or something? Trophies? Are you looking for trophies for I the just kill? Cut, they don't have ears. I can't cut off their ears now. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, is, both of the orcs, orcs um, disintegrated and sort of the bull. I meant mainly the, um, uh, the sacrificial lizard folk. Is um, there anything of note on any of them? You notice a few of them look look a little more, or have um fancier clothing and some jewelry on them. Okay, those are probably the sub the, like the sub chiefs and chiefs. Yeah, I'm not there. I'm not trying to loot them. I just wanted to know if anything notable on them that that would be important. Uh, if if their survivors might want something from them. yes, <laughs> they're with yeah, like a few of the. Uh, a few of the lizard folk arrive up to the top and kind of look over the dead. Are their hearts kind of beating? Mm -hmm. The hearts are not beating. They're gone. But kind of emotion they're emotionlessly, they, they kind of look over the remains. And one of them um, goes over to the chief, which you, Zizix, would recognize as uh, the one that gave you a Tooth necklace when you escape from the um, the village, and uh, he takes off a headdress from him and hands it to you and goes, "I believe you are a chief now." Wow, what you no. have the highest rank among us. All hail King Zizix. <laughs> I take it and I put it on and I, I bow. And all the wizard folk kind of bow and kneel. Well, you think maybe we could use use their help to to continue on? I mean, they are very malnourished. Yeah, yeah, very, yeah, they're very. They would just be cannon fodder. That yeah. wouldn't work. I mean, <laughs> a Hawaiian, what's it called? Where you roast the boar outside? It's a, it's a, a luau? A luau. <laughs> yeah. It just we, get, yeah. we get a giant spit. <laughs> We're just <laughs> like the size. It's like 15 feet <laughs> high. <laughs> there's, there's a boar in captivity down below. We could use that boar. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Let's go get the boar from in the cave. Yeah, let's let's, let's have a luau so that we can feed these prisoners. In honor <laughs> oh, of Zizek's coronation, we have to have a <laughs> So Zizix has given them all a good berry, which will feed them for the day. They are basically stuffed uh, based on one berry. But we can... Okay. we can. Uh, I would suggest that we bring them back to town to you know keep tabs on them and help them recuperate. They'll mm -hmm. probably be safer within the town rather than in the middle of the woods where some some orcs can just attack them. The dragon might show up at the town, but you know, less chance of that happening. Falcons. Orcs. You mean Falcons, Falcons Lodge? Right? Huts. Falcons Lodge is only a few miles. Oh, you're right. I forgot we're in the middle of the woods. Uh, um, they can recuperate there. That makes sense. They could probably help help well, out, and th and that's why we came this way. I completely forgot. That's why we came this way. Was uh, to, to we need to go back and. Uh, Get their, uh, <laughs> get their um, supplies. Reward. Mm. We need to. I completely forgot that was a thing in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> hey, Joey, did you? You may have already said this, but did the weather change when the board disintegrated? Oh yeah, like almost immediately. But... Awesome. And it's just so sunshine. Love it. I mean, is it that post rain smell? Yeah. Sure, sure. And everything's still pretty muddy. I think Varakin should, um, should perform a 
a prayer on Zizix and his new um, chieftain appointment. Yeah, like a cor like a coronation yeah, ceremony. Coronation ceremony. <laughs> coronation day. Come on, Varrican, what do you got? Give us your uh, bless. bless the necklace. <laughs> yes. I'm on the spot here. You you um, could probably prepare ceremony in a day. Uh, after a long rest. Yeah, literally the spell ceremony. <laughs> One of the wizard folks turns to Zizix and goes, What blasphemy is this dwarf doing? <laughs> it's, it's, it's cool. He's, it, he's, it's fine. We have our own, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, well th these, these are my friends. They have different customs. A party is a party is a party. Instead of doing the Macarena, we're doing the electric slide. And I, is there, as far as the the bodies around, whatever the correct funeral style things are, let's get that going too. We can burn their bodies out with the twig lights as uh, kindling. Dude, I've seen Zizix's dreams. These people need something to look forward to. You gotta give them some hope. You gotta show them Corella, you know? <laughs> 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 Funny. I'm not sure what a what a lizard folk um burial like ceremony would be to bury the dead. He, they would probably like or, uh, to be honest, they they might even just eat each other. Lizard folk aren't like yeah. I mean, they're like very practical. They may like yeah. use them as uh, compost or something. You know? Yeah. You know. Yeah, they're, they're lack like, check mentality. <laughs> make their jewelry out of their ancestors. Yeah. <laughs> this I mean, is my grandpa. It was my grandpa. This is the bones of my great grandmother. That's a scrimshaw. <laughs> they might they probably don't even have like leadership and hierarchies. Well they have like chieftains. I guess that's true. Okay. It was a tribal esque thing. I mean, they think a lot of you, Zizix. That must mean something. No. No, his, it's just reverse alphabetical, and he's the next on the <laughs> list. They <laughs> took it over from Zzzz. The wizard folk parents are always trying to cheat by naming their kids as many Zs as possible. Your name is Snore. <laughs> All right, well, let's... I think Sussex should become a legend in his culture. The guy who turned into a toad and ate an orc. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I puke. It. Yeah, did, did he throw up flens? Did he throw up flens when he? When he's gonna give a speech. <laughs> yeah, I guess I would have puked him up. Oh, you know, that frog seems over. That frog seems overpowered. <laughs> yeah, well, it, I, it's only because I got the crit and high rolls. Sure. Yeah, that was that was that was really lucky. The uh, that's a CR one, yeah. The giant toes is only a CR one. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Its land speed is only twenty feet, so they're easy to outrun, I guess. Yeah, and I checked in the, the water. So. I didn't exceed that. Yeah. Ribbit. Shall we tend to um, Xanth and uh, return to the lodge with our new friends? Oh, yeah, he's probably dead by now. We should probably get him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys all done? You guys all done here? Yeah. Uh, do you, do you, think, you think we've exposed oh, uh, I'll, actually, I'll actually take a quick look at any of the garbage heaps if I can do it without upsetting the, uh, the boar and see if there's anything of use in uh, anything treasurely in there. Might as well look around. In the garbage? You never know what's going to be thrown in there. Alright, pick a... In the DM. Pick one of the areas. I'll pick the, the first one that we went into. You find the one ring. <laughs> I think the point that if, if it's garbage, you don't want to find out what it is. <laughs> you see a plus three dart. No. Hot diggity! Give me a, give me a um, investigation as you check out the garbage. 
Uh, ugh, seven. Yeah, that's very you smelly. <laughs> you notice most of the bones. You see like a lizard man skull in there. Mm. And then you just see uh you see like bits of flesh and and all that. Yeah. Really gross. So do I actually no, find a plus no three or are you just joking? I was joking. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I was making a chuckle. <laughs> I I just, you were having a laugh. <laughs> I will pick up some more darts next time we are running out of darts. We should probably head back to the lodge. Uh, Sally's excited to see Pell again. Shaka's <laughs> excited to see Xanth again. <laughs> I'm excited to see more darts again. <laughs> I'm excited to get everybody to the lodge. You have a whole band of lizard folk that make you a dart as as thank you. Yeah, can they if they can yeah. make the darts? I'll take. Just tell me how many darts they give me. I'll take them because they can make uh they can make um stuff out of bone. That's true. I'll just grab some of their friend skulls and say, hey, "Okay, here, make oh. me a dart." <laughs> as part of the best, we can make darts from the material. How many ones are with us? Four, oh, I nice. think. No, there was like a there was like a, a lizard folk all together. Mm. Oh, so, uh, do I they make you. It, it, hey, go ahead. And they make you eleven bone darts. Dang! Out of <laughs> out of their fallen comrades' bodies. Oh, uh, that's 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 good. That's on. That's a good honor. <laughs> uh, you're good, they're going to be with you as a blessing. So that means every single dart you throw is at advantage. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm freaked out that I'm throwing dead allies. So it's a disadvantage. So it's a straight roll. <laughs> oh, do I retrieve the javelin I threw? Or do, is it gone? Yes, Dustin, you can retrieve the javelin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just asking. It disintegrated in the bar. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just four rounds. <laughs> but, um... Oh, it's actually not unlocked here. So you see the Circle of Thunder. Where you were is right there. You can head to... Falcon's Hunting Lodge. And... Logger's Camp is over here. Mance over there. So yeah, we'll, we'll head back we to the Falcon's Hunting Lodge, I think, because yeah. it's close. Yeah. And I could great. use a rest. Yeah, nice. let's take a short rest before before we head off, uh, just in case Joey decides to roll in the counter table. I would enjoy that. Um, I am going to, uh, as we're doing this, just to um, make sure everybody's healed up, um, I'm going to spend 10 minutes to cast Prayer of Healing. So... Uh, everyone in the party gets 12 hit points back. Nice! I don't have to use up any hit dice then. Wait, do I... Eh, since the battle's over, I lose the 10 hit points I got, right? Or, yeah, they're, they're tempted. The, well, well, temp goes away when they're replaced, when it's say they go away, or at the end of a long rest. So if they say it only lasts during your rage, then they would go away. It doesn't say... It, it doesn't say it, it lasts to the end of my rage. It then just... you probably still have them until the long rest. Yeah, so you, you all help Zamp back to the lounge. Lodge. Um, and you have a troop of lizard folk, and as they all march in, Pell and the butler and Falcon all just kind of look in disbelief. And the butler goes, well, I don't think we have enough rooms for all for all of them. They need to need time to recover, and then we'll find space for them in fan in the town. I'm going to give them ten gold and just say, just put them somewhere where they can recuperate, and take this for your trouble. He goes, uh -huh. some of them might have to sleep on the floor, but there's plenty of room in the. In the, in, the, in the guest lounge, in, in the guest house, and a few of them see the uh, a few of them see the river 
nearby and are like see an opportunity to take a swim and get clean. Sally tries to show Pal the uh, face of a twig blight that she exploded. <laughs> so I was kind of wasn't I was only halfway there when you're doing all your shenanigans with a uh, Pal. How how terrified is he of you? I don't know how terrified is he of me. <laughs> a lot. I don't know what what do you do to him. Uh, Stripped out a clump of hair. No. Uh, uh, Sally tried to brush him the same way that uh, Shock was brushing Xan, but uh, uh, Pell was recoiling in fear. Um, and then uh, Shaka was giving uh, Xan some sugar cubes, and then Pell tried. not giving him sugar. And then, then, Shaka, sugar. This, and then Sally tried to do the exact same thing, but instead she grabbed from the salt like pile block and started shoving salt into oh, Pell's <laughs> Okay. Was uh, Zizix? Uh, when we, I it looks like I'm guessing we got him back, and uh, how was how was he handling his injured leg, chronic leg? Oh, Zanth. Yeah, he seems to gather some herbs Zanth. from around him, and he uh, he's applying it to his wound. Look, I I keep he telling is. you, alternative oh, medicine, alternative medicine doesn't work, Zanth. You're just not using it correctly. <laughs> just keep shooting darts, okay? Dartagon. By definition, alternatives to medicine. No, I screwed up the quote. Never mind. I'll I'll, I'll go back to darts. <laughs> so it's a little past midday. Um, and the session is over pretty much. But okay, you guys can do a short rest if you like, or just spend the rest of the day. And... Let's let's do a long rest here since we're in safe spot. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, Falcon goes, uh, well, some of you gonna have to gonna have to sleep on the floor. Sally and I do not sleep. <laughs> Look, we'll, we're, we're fine with sleeping on the floor. We're adventurers and lizard folk. I'm and I'm an elephant. <laughs> right. That'll be, uh, I think, ten gold it was. Yeah, I, I gave him ten gold for his troubles. Oh, was nice. Yeah, but to, 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 to do the, uh, stay in the nice room, be ten gold. Yeah. Which will give you inspiration. I'm staying with <laughs> Inspired! <laughs> You're so fancy. That spa room. <laughs> but uh, Falcon goes, Tonight, we celebrate you, because I assume it was you that caused the skies to clear. And what a tale you'll have to tell. It is. It was really thanks to Sunshine Sally. <laughs> Zizix should stay in the guest room with all his lizard brethren. Yeah, wherever wherever they are in the, I guess the leaky room in the top that we stayed in before. What? I Wasn't thought Dark got paid ten gold. That was bullshit. Oh. You, should, you guys should stay in the fancy room. Oh, I thought I didn't realize that you were putting them up in the fan. Oh, that's what I, I, was, I was. Whatever the ten gold will get them, just so they'll not be, you know, kick them out and be like, we don't know where to put them. Put them outside. No, no, put them so them somewhere. Got your gold. Okay, so you, it's a little cramped, but you're you're all able to fit in this room. <laughs> Every lizard folk okay, has advantage. It's like the lizard folk orgy room. <laughs> <laughs> you're not used to sleeping in, you know. In cots anyway, so it's uh, Zizix who gets the inspiration. Huzzah! And uh, you all feast on boar tonight. Very tingly boar. <laughs> Some That's right. It's a session. Oh, yeah! Oh, that was awesome. Hooray! I, we live! And we finally stopped the, the bad weather. Sunshine Sally lived up to her name. Indeed. <laughs> Rock the sunshine.